Now for this next part then, we've got to differentiate sine 4x over x cubed with respect to x and give our answer in as a simple form as possible. So to do this, what I'd want to do first of all is define it. So I'm going to say let y equal sine 4x over x cubed. And what I've got here now is two functions of x being divided by one another. And to differentiate something like this, it's a good idea to use the quotient rule. And as a brief reminder here, if we've got two functions of x being divided by one another, u, v, then dy dx turns out to be v du dx minus u dv dx all over v squared. I like to remember this though, as I've pointed out in many of the tutorials I've done on this, that I just see it as the bottom of the fraction times the differential of the top minus the top of the fraction divided by the differential of the bottom all over the bottom squared. And that's how I'm going to do it now, okay? I'm not gonna write u equals this, v equals that, and so on, okay? I'm just gonna go straight into it. So. Therefore, what we have is dy dx equals. So it is the bottom of the fraction, x cubed. Let's put that in brackets. Always put things in brackets so we don't write ambiguous statements. So it's the bottom of the fraction times the differential of the top of the fraction. Now to differentiate sine 4x, you've got to be using the chain rule. It's a standard result, this one. You might just know it just straight off. But at the end of this tutorial or video, I'll show you how it's done by the chain rule. But essentially, the differential of sine 4x, differential of sine anything, we let this anything, 4x be t, we differentiate sine t, and we would get cos t. And that would be the cosine of t being 4x, and then we multiply it by the differential of the thing we call t. Differential of 4x is 4. So what you actually get when you differentiate sine 4x is 4 cos 4x. And so you might have just written that down, okay? But I will run through this at the end of this video, okay, how it's done by the chain rule. Okay, so that's the first part here. Now we need to just do minus, and then we do the top of the fraction times the differential of the bottom of the fraction. So we've got sine 4x, so we just put that in its own bracket, sine 4x, and we multiply this by the differential of x cubed, which is 3x squared. And we have to divide all of this by the bottom of the fraction all squared. So x cubed, if you were to square it, is going to be x to the power 6. Right, what I want to do now is just tidy up the top of the fraction, this term here, and the best way of writing it is 4x cubed cos 4x. So we'll just write that in then as 4x cubed cos 4x. And then for this term here, it would look better as 3x squared sine 4x. So we've got minus 3x squared sine of 4x. And all that is divided by x to the power 6. Now I could see that on the top here, I could pull out a common factor, a common factor of x squared. And so we've got x squared as the common factor, and I'll put some square brackets up here, and we've got 4x then, cos 4x. Okay, that should give us that first term. And then when we come on to this second term, we just need minus 3 sine 4x. And that is all divided but then by x to the power 6. And you can see that we can cancel out this x squared. It goes once, goes into this one though, leaving us with x to the power 4. So basically, at the end of this, when this is tidied up, we've got 4x cos 4x minus the 3 sine 4x. And this is all divided by 
x to the power 4. Okay, now I did say um, that I would run through very quickly then the differential of sine 4x if you're unsure about that. We do it through the chain rule and as usual the chain rule is essentially that dy by dx is equal to dy by d something dt say times the same d something dt divided by dx. It's as if these cancel leaving us with dy over dx. And so if we're trying to differentiate say y equals the sine of 4x so if we let t equal 4x then what we have got is y equals instead of sine of 4x it becomes sine of t. So if I want to differentiate then sine of 4x then dy by dx equals dy by dt well the differential of sine t is always going to be cos t so it would be the cosine cos of t multiplied by the differential of t with respect to x t was 4x so if you differentiate that respect to x you get 4 and if we fill this in with the value of t, t being 4x, we get the cosine of 4x and that's all multiplied by 4, leaving you with 4 cos 4x. But there you go, that's how I got that bit in there, through the chain rule. Alright, and the way I said it again, just to remind you, was when I had the differential sine 4x, I just said, right, okay, I've got sine t, differentiate sine t you get cos t but t was 4x. If I then now go on and multiply by the differential of what I call t, t being 4x, differentiate that you get the 4. Okay so uh, anyway hope you got that and there you go there's our simplified answer.